name is Kalamin. I'm actually a senior scientist and the manager of the Advanced Battery Program at Argan National Lab. I'm also the chair of this conference, organizer of this conference. So you're going to show us now uh, some, of, some of what you've been working on. Yes. Well, you know, Argan is, uh, is actually uh, heading the uh, battery program for the DOE, applied program, so we manage it and also we uh, are very much involved in the technical part of it. And uh, we pretty much do most of the development technology, chemistries, uh, ways of stabilizing the battery technologies. And we have actually developed recently one of the highest energy density cathode material ever reported. Uh, this material is we call a composite electrode, nickel manganese based, it's a layered material. Uh, to give you an idea, the energy density or capacity of this material is almost twice that of uh, conventional lithium cobalt oxide. It's been commercialized now. So this will put uh, uh, the uh, possibility of enabling plug-in hybrid 40 miles within reach. You know. Uh, not only that, but this material can provide this energy at high voltage, about 4.6 volt. So as you know, high voltage and high capacity give you more energy density. Yeah. Right. And uh, I'm showing you here uh, material. Um, uh, we were able to develop a process that can give a spherical pack uh, material that has the same packing densities like lithium cobalt oxide, but the capacity is almost twice of that. Uh, than lithium cobalt oxide. Lithium cobalt oxide is around here 140, we are about 275. And uh, the material cycle very well, so there is no issue with cycle life of this material. Now, what about safety? Because that's this material, material, because of the composition, uh, there is very limited amount of nickel in this system, so it's far much safer than any other conventional lithium batteries cathode existing. And, and what's again, what is in it then if it's not? Uh, uh, it's basically lithium mostly, mm -hmm. it's uh, excess lithium, uh, 1.2. 20% uh, uh, excess lithium, and we have 20% uh, of nickel and 60% uh, of manganese. So manganese stabilize the material and make it very safe and give you much, much longer life. This is the first technology. It's been actually, uh, we have uh, a strong patent portfolio in this one. There are a number of companies that are licensing this material. And DOE has selected this material as a, a target material for a uh, cattle material for plug-in hybrid uh, 40 miles. So Argan will be doing a lot of work to enable this in collaboration with the possibly industry. So when will it, uh, you've started testing it already? Yeah, we, we already did, we have set up a facility at Argan to scale up this material to a 20 kilogram batch so we can supply it to uh, industry so they can make batteries and test it. Uh, there is a number of industries that are interested to this material. Who are some of the industries that you're Well, uh, I know, uh, for example, we have a contract with uh, Toda, uh -huh. uh, it's a Japanese that is going to set up a mass production facility in Canada near near US. Uh, and uh, there is Anvia, is another company. Motorola is very interested to this material. Uh, Toyota Motor Corporation is very interested. Nissan as well. Um, I have a lot of interaction with these people now to try to to advance this material for uh, for plug-in hybrid. What if, what will the others be using? Well, as I said, you, you've seen uh, most of the plug-in hybrid is focused on. Uh, on existing technologies, but it's extremely difficult based on our simulation and modeling to meet the 40 miles within the volume and weight restraint. You can always, you know, make big batteries, uh, fill up your tank, and you can meet those requirements of 40 miles. But there are uh, limitations that set by the USABC and also other uh, uh, METI and NEDOs that you have to have a battery within a certain volume and size and get that 40 miles which means that you really have to go beyond the conventional technologies that are out there now. I think this is start uh, generating a lot of noise now. There's still some development going on here. I don't think so it will happen uh, next year or so. Uh, we have uh, achieved the packing density so we can provide a lot of energy. There is some rate issues that we need to address and that's what DOE is funding us now to do, to enable the rate capability, the power capability of this material. And then after that, and, uh, you know, we're taking it both improving the rate and scaling it up and providing it to the industry for uh, manufacturing batteries based on this material. We'll keep a watch out for it. All right then. Thank you. Excellent.